Now to a scare in the air. Was it a threat or just miscommunication? A plane traveling from Orlando International Airport to Rhode Island had to make an emergency landing in Jacksonville. Passengers say a couple was arguing when they heard the word bomb. However, today in court, the suspect said they misheard what he said. News 6's Catherine Silver has more on what he says actually happened. Anytime you say bomb at the airport, you go to jail. Who said bomb? Uh, sir, I said calm and somebody thought I said bomb. Evan Sims uh, says he was on the way home to Rhode Island after spending Thanksgiving with his fiance's family in Florida when they started arguing. Why did you say calm? Why did I say calm? I said because she needed some calm and she wanted to move seats. It was that fight mid-flight that forced the plane to divert to Jacksonville Tuesday night, where Sims faced a judge Wednesday afternoon for violating an injunction. Y'all know you made a plane turn around and there's about... 200 passengers that hate your guts. Yes, sir. I did apologize. He also apologized before being taken off the plane. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize for messing up your travel plans. Cell phone video from passengers shows him on board after the argument escalated in the air. People were talking about claiming the other person had a bomb during their fight. The people around them heard the word bomb. Rachel Corrigan recounted what she heard once the plane landed. Flight details shared online show the route from Florida to Rhode Island. The plane had made it over Georgia before it turned around. A dad and his daughter got up and walked back and they said we asked to get moved because someone was talking about a bomb. Video from passengers shows Sims and his fiance exiting the plane with law enforcement. Merry Christmas. And with more people making plans to travel this holiday season, we're seeing more of these videos mid-flight. It's something the FAA is also watching. They track the number of disruptive passenger incidents, 1,900 so far this year, down more than 80% from the nearly 6,000 in 2021, but still higher than it was pre-pandemic. A statement shared by Breeze with News 6 states in part, safety is our top priority and we take threats of any kind very seriously. The airline is also cooperating with law enforcement as they investigate. Unruly passenger incidents are often referred to the FBI when warranted. I'm told this case is being handled by local authorities. In Orlando, I'm Catherine Silver, getting results, News 6.